Oh my god, take a look at Nick Boyle. I mean, come on, Madness is the same player that you had in the game last year. And look at his face. I mean, come on, man, you gotta fix that. He doesn't look like this in real life. I mean, that, he, he looks like Shrek. And that is just awful. Look at the size of his ears, his nose, his eyes are crooked, his lips are off to one side. I mean, good lord, man. You gotta do my man Nick Boyle better than this. What is happening, good people of YouTube? Welcome to the Overly Gaming Project. We are here. It is brand new content starting today with the release of Madden 22. We are excited. I'm excited. You're excited. Everybody's excited. I think. Unless you're not excited, that's fine. You don't have to be excited. You can just be kind of like, okay, Madden's here. What to do? That's fine too. Nobody's telling you how to live your life. But what I'm telling you is, we are here on the channel, starting out the brand new Ravens franchise mode. I thought about making a huge introduction, a huge compilation, something that would grab the attention of the new viewers to the channel and show them this is what you're gonna get when you subscribe to the channel, watch this Madden franchise series. So I put together something. It really highlights what you're gonna get. Take a look. I mean, that's it. That's all I've got. I mean, subscribe to the channel, watch the series. You're gonna get stuff like that. But let's not harp on that stuff. Let's move on, shall we? Tell you what, first things first, we're gonna run quickly through the roster here for the Ravens, and then we are gonna sim through the preseason. We're gonna make some cuts, trim the fat, and then we are gonna get into the regular season with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens ready to kick everybody's ass. That's right. Steelers. We're coming for you. We're gonna smack you right in the face. All right, Lamar Jackson leading the Ravens here. 91 overall rated. I would hope he would be rated higher than that. That's fine. Hopefully he'll grow. And J.K. Dobbins and Gus the Bus Edwards, the running duo. We got speed, agility, and power all wrapped up in this beautiful little package. And Patrick Ricard, he's the man. I mean, if he can't do it. Nobody can. And take a look at this wide receivers course. Sammy Watkins, Marquise Brown, Miles Boykin. We got our new signing, Bateman. Duvernay is back. And a host of other young talent. Man, I think we're going to be unstoppable here. Maybe. Maybe not. That's fine. We'll see. And the biggest question that we have to ask ourselves, and if you're familiar with the Raven season from last year in Madden 21, Who's going to run the jet sweep? Only time will tell. Of course, Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, and then Oliver Tomlinson, Pole Jan, and more. That's a lot of tight ends. That's what she said. Now, I'm not sure a lot of these guys here are going to be sticking around. Now, of course, Nick Moore, he doubles as the long snapper, so he's probably got to stay. But does he? Does, does a long snapper really mean anything here in Madden? Pretty sure you could put anyone as a long snapper and it would be fine. And another question we have to ask ourselves, carrying over from Madden 21, is does Nick Boyle's animation guy in the game look like Shrek? I'm telling you, go back, Madden 21, watch the series here on the channel with the Ravens. Nick Boyle looked like Shrek. I'm not kidding. We're gonna have to find out. Taking a look at our offensive line, I think the only key piece here that we're excited about is Ronnie Stanley at left tackle. He's 93 overall rated. That's pretty good. I mean, left guard, not that exciting. There's our centers. Not that exciting. Okay, a signing in Kevin Zeitler as the right guard. That's pretty exciting. 83 overall rated. Should be able to hold down and help us run the ball a little bit better. All right, and, and we're pretty solid at right tackle here. We got uh, Villanueva, seventh year in the league. And then we have Juwan James. He's also seventh year in the league, but he's hurt, which sucks, but that's fine. We can We can deal with that. All right, and here is where the magic happens on defense. Derek Wolf as our left end. Ninth year in the league, but he is a pretty solid player. And there he is making his return. Madden 22, it's Calais Campbell. Six foot eight, 315 pounds. He'll smack you in the face and laugh at you. And what are you going to do about it? Nothing. He's six foot eight. I mean, you're just going to sit down. He's 35 years old, though. We are going to have to watch out for injuries on Calais Campbell. Backing him up, it's Justin Matabuke. Matab... Matabu... Maba... Mab whatever. I mean, it's Justin. Let's just call him Justin. And he's backing up Calais Campbell. 75 overall rated. His first year in the league. 
I mean, I think we're pretty good if Clayus Campbell goes down. We've got the right end of the future right here. Even if we can't pronounce his name, it's fine. Oh my God. And there he is, Brandon Williams, the defensive tackle, 86 rated. It's his eighth year in the league, six foot one, 340 pounds. No doubt 240 pounds of that is his ass. His butt is humongous, and we love it. We love our defensive tackles to have humongous butts. And Brandon Williams has a big butt. And you're going to hear a lot about that in this franchise mode. And I tell you, I would guarantee that Brandon Williams' butt is going to have at least three sacks this season. Tyus Bowser, our left outside linebacker, 74 overall rates. His fourth year in the league, you would think he would have a higher rating than that. But he doesn't. And here's our rookie, Odafe Owe. Say that fast three times in a row. Bet you can't. 22 years old. He's 70 overall rated. He is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the years to come. At least I hope so. And in middle linebacker, it's LJ Fort, Patrick Queen, Malik Harrison, and Chris Board. Here's some younger guys down here that might make the practice squad. We might have to cut them. Who knows? Nobody knows. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. And here's our right outside linebacker. It's Justin Houston. It's his 10th year in the league. He's 32 years old. Kind of up there in age. 82 overall rated. Not bad. And behind him, it's Pernell McPhee, also 32 years old, 10th year in the league. We got some old guys here out on the right side. And waiting in the wings, Jalen Ferguson, it's his second year in the league, 72 overall rated. We might have to sort of mix him in here to get him some experience. But right outside linebacker, looking kind of old here. And here is the bread and butter of the Baltimore defense. It is our corner back squad and i tell you marlon humphrey marcus peters jimmy smith that's right jimmy smith's still here he's 33 years old we have not gotten rid of him and we're not going to get rid of him he's playing better now he had a couple years where it was kind of questionable i'm not gonna lie and as a diehard and avid ravens fan somebody that bleeds the black and purple i was unhappy with jimmy smith for years but it's all changed now jimmy smith the veteran he's teaching these young guys and he's going to stay in the squad. Unless you tell me otherwise, leave a comment down below. Should we keep Jimmy Smith? Tavon Young's back there. Anthony Everett. And then we got a couple of these young guys. A lot of these young guys back here. I'm not sure if they're going to stay or if they're going to go. End up on the practice squad. Who knows? You guys have any comments? Leave them down below. What the hell are we going to do with these guys? Deshaun Elliott. Our free safety. He's 24 years old. 80 overall rated. A good player for us. Hopefully he can stay that way this year. And Chuck Clark and Anthony Levin Sr., they are our strong safeties, and they're fine. They're doing good for us, and we're going to keep them. And what can you say about Justin Tucker? He does Royal Farms Fried Chicken commercials, and who doesn't love Royal Farms Fried Chicken? And Sam Cook, he's like 85 years old, still punting in the league. Man. That's pretty cool. All right, so we have advanced through the preseason. It looks like we lost against the Saints in week one of the preseason, 31 to 34. At the Panthers, we won 24 to 7. And at the Washington football team, we won 37 to 31. And we can take a look at the stats here, too. All right, so here we go, taking a look at the combined preseason stats here for the Ravens. Lamar Jackson, 320 yards, 28 completions on 39 attempts, four touchdowns, no interceptions, completed 71% of his passes. His rating, 130.2. That's pretty good. Tyler Huntley, 268 yards. He had 26 completions on 45 attempts, three touchdowns. He did have an interception. 57% of his passes were completed. And Trace McSorley, he didn't even play. I mean, golly, maybe I shouldn't have simmed it. Maybe I should have started the games and put him in there so he could at least throw a pass. Because, I mean, Trace McSorley, it's only his second year in the league. He's got to be wondering himself, why the hell didn't I get a chance to play in the preseason, coach? I mean, all this work I put in through college, you're just going to leave me on the bench? I can't even touch the ball? Damn. That just makes me sad. All right, taking a look at the rushing for the preseason. Gus the Bus Edwards, 53 attempts, 216 yards. He had five touchdowns, averaging 4.1 yards per carry. J.K. Dobbins, 29 attempts, 82 yards, averaging 2.8 yards per carry, no touchdowns. And Lamar Jackson using his feet a little bit here in the preseason, 15 attempts, 55 yards, averaging 3.7 yards per carry, no touchdowns. 
All right, as a whole, the receiving core, not too bad. Sammy Watkins, 13 receptions, 157 yards, averaging 12.1 yards per reception, two touchdowns. Marquise Brown had a touchdown, eight receptions for 98 yards. Nick Boyle, seven receptions, 93 yards, and a touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, pretty good target there out of the backfield, seven receptions, 63 yards, and a touchdown. Rashad Bateman, the new wide receiving rookie, four receptions, 45 yards, and a touchdown. And there's Nick Moore, the tight end, the third string or fourth string, fifth, seventh string tight end. Who knows? He's a long snapper. And he, he did absolutely nothing here in the preseason. Golly. He's going to have to call his mom, explain to her why he doesn't have any stats here in the preseason. That's going to be sad. All right, defensively, we've got some good production here in the preseason. LJ Ford, 23 tackles. I mean, he is a workhorse here. Tavon Young, 14 tackles. Calais Campbell, 12 tackles. Patrick Queen, 12 tackles. Jimmy Smith. I mean, the list goes on and on. Calais Campbell... And Justin Matabuike both had one sack. And Tavon Young and Jimmy Smith had interceptions here in the preseason. That's pretty good. All right, nobody really standing out here in the kick return game. Devin Duvernay averaging 28 yards. He only had one kick return. Justice Hill averaging 23.8 on four returns. James Prochet had six returns. He's averaging 22.5 yards. But again, nobody's standing out as a go-to guy in the kick return game. Same thing in the punt return game. It's not easy return to punts here in Madden. Duvernay averages five yards. Prochet, 3.5. whoop de doo Uh-oh, it's a big decision time. <laughs> we have too many players. We need to make some cuts. We need to cut 20 players from the squad. And that's what we do every preseason. We cut the fat... And that's what we're going to do right now. Our coaches have made some recommendations, and they've recommended to cut Nick Moore. Oh, boy. I mean, he's a long snapper. How are you going to cut a long snapper? I tell you what. Here's how you do it. Oh, bye bye All right, here's how I like to make my player cuts. I got to do it through this screen here because it's easier to look at their stats and look at everything about them. Everybody knows I love the fullback position. All right, not everybody knows that. But now you guys know. I love the fullback position. One of my favorite positions in football, and I love Patrick Ricard. Ben Mason, God, as much as I love the fullback position, there's no way to justify having two fullbacks. Oh, bye bye. All right, big decision time here. Watkins, Brown, Boykin, Bateman, Duvernay. I mean, these are all players we're going to keep. Usually, I like to keep about six wide receivers on the active roster, and that's going to leave us down to this guy named Kane, Dion Kane. Everybody below him, I think we're going to have to cut. All right, taking a look at the tight ends. Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, Josh Oliver, and Eric Tomlinson. Do we need four tight ends? I'm not sure. Eric Tomlinson has one of the biggest beards in the NFL. I kind of feel like we have to keep him around. He's 29 years old, 66 rated. Not a great player. But look at the beard. Josh Oliver. It's only his second year in the league. I kind of feel there's some potential for this guy. Maybe we'll try and keep four tight ends on the squad. See how much room we have. But Tony Poljan. He's going to the practice squad. Oh my God. Take a look at Nick Boyle. I mean, come on. Madden, this is the same player that you had in the game last year. And look at his face. I mean, come on, man. You got to fix that. He doesn't look like this in real life. I mean, that he, he looks like Shrek. And that is just awful. Look at the size of his ears, his nose, his eyes are crooked. His lips are off to one side. I mean, good Lord. Man, you got to do my man Nick Boyle better than this. Man, that's sad. I love you, Nick Boyle. I'm sorry man's doing you like this. All right, here is our left tackle situation. And I apologize in advance. Tyree Phillips, I'm sorry. Oh, bye-bye. All right, left guard position is looking okay. And here are our centers. I don't normally like to carry three centers. And that's why Greg Mansuggs, Greg Mansuggs. Look, you got a Z at the end of your name and a C in there. And what the hell is that on your face? A little goatee mustache thing going on. I'm sorry, you cannot be on the squad looking like this. Oh, bye-bye. The right tackle position, we got Villanueva. We've got Juwan James and Andre Smith. He's 34 years old, 12 years in the league. I don't know we need him, so I think we're going to have to cut him. Sorry, Andre Smith. 
Oh, bye bye. Left outside linebackers. I don't know. Do we need three of them? We take a look at Dalen Hayes. He's a rookie. Believe to make some room, we could possibly move him to the practice squad, and that's what we're going to do. All right, middle linebackers. We don't need 18 middle linebackers. Specifically, I'm looking at you, Christian Welch. First year in the league. He's 23 years old, 63 rated. I don't know that there's ever going to be a spot for you, and you don't have a face. Oh, bye bye. And Atura Alaka. I know he's really good on special teams. He's 25 years old. I hate to get rid of him, but I think we're going to have to. Either that or move him to the practice squad. All right, right outside linebacker. Because of the age of these guys and, and their, their ratings, I'm just going to keep all three of these guys. And here are our cornerbacks. I don't really need to keep 15 cornerbacks. I think we need, at most, we need six. And that's going to bring us down to uh, Harris. Devontae Harris. He's going to stay, but everybody below him is either going to be released or go to the practice squad. All right, here's our free safeties, and right away you can see somebody sticking out. That's you, Brandon Stevens. Sorry, dude. You're going to the practice squad. And strong safety. Well, there's two players here that are sticking out as well. Geno Stone. I love your name. You've been in the year one league. You're 22, 68 overall rated. How about the practice squad for you? And Nigel Warrior. I really love your name, but you got to go. Oh, bye-bye. Does any team need two punters on their roster? I don't think so. Johnny Townsend. Oh, bye-bye. And here it is. It's the part in the episode where we get to upgrade our players. But before we do that, let me remind you, if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. If you like the Ravens, if you like Madden, if you like franchise mode, hell, if you like anything at all, just hit that like button and leave a comment down below it doesn't even matter what you say. Gus the Bus Edwards upgrading his power back. We're buying. He's 80 overall rated now. Look, Marlon Humphrey can be upgraded. Let's do that. Maybe we can upgrade him to take that crap off his face. That's not an option though. So we're going to upgrade his man to man. We're buying. He's up to a 94 overall rated. Well, that is it. We have gone through the preseason. We have trimmed the fat off the roster. The Ravens are ready to go here in this regular season, starting week one against the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are going to do this in the next episode. Guys, I'm sorry there's no gameplay in this episode. It's just the beginning. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. This series is going to be off the chain. I don't know what chain. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know. You know what? Here's what is in store for you in the upcoming episodes. And I'm sorry you had to see that. Don't make me show it again. Subscribe to the channel and I won't show that again. But leave a comment down below. Let me know if you are excited for the Ravens this year in Madden 22. I'm super excited. We are going to take Lamar Jackson and these Ravens to the Super Bowl, hopefully. And in the next episode, we're going to set our season goal. Man, we're going to look at all this stuff. Weekly strategy. And we are going to play the game against the Las Vegas Raiders right here. Overly Gaming Project. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers here in 2021. And man, most importantly, thanks for letting me be a part of your day. We're going to see you right back here in the next video.